Hello and welcome to this month's product focus, the Pro Engineer MathCAD integration. Today I'll be giving you a quick simple example of how to integrate MathCAD with ProE through utilizing parameters and relationships. We'll start out by creating a rectangular prism um, and then the next step would be to create a parameter. We'll create a parameter for height then we'll need to create a MathCAD document that will take in this parameter and output again the same the same value. We'll use the relations within ProE to grab that value out of an analysis feature and then that will complete our integration. Here we'll begin by creating a rectangle on our top datum plane and then we'll extrude that an arbitrary amount. At this point the values and the dimensions don't necessarily matter as we will be changing them later through our integration. The first thing we'll need to do is, is create a parameter for the height dimension. So we'll go to Tools, Parameters, and then we'll add a parameter. We'll name it Height. We'll give it a, a value of 10, and then we'll add an inch unit. The next step is we'll need to go ahead and create an analysis feature. So we'll go to Analysis, External Analysis, MathCAD Analysis, which will open up in our top right of our screen. We have the option to either load a file or create a new file. We'll go ahead and choose to create a new file at this point. Here we have just a blank MathCAD document. We're going to start out by creating a height sub pro variable. And we'll just give it again an arbitrary value at this point. Then we're going to go ahead and link that height sub pro value to another variable called height. And then just to double check that that variable will actually be updated with the appropriate terms, we'll type it in and hit equals. As you'll see, we have, once we change this to inches, we have one inch. So it has actually gone through the, the MathCAD document. The next thing we need to do is we need to tag these variables, the variables that come from ProE, to MathCAD need to have the tag ProE to MathCAD as you see there. And the variables that go back into ProE will need to have the tag MC to ProE as you see here. That is the end of the necessary terms and everything that we need for the MathCAD document. So we'll go ahead and save this to the desktop as test. Hit save and now we can go back to our ProE session. Here we'll go ahead and load that file that we just saved to our desktop called test. And once that loads, we'll need to connect this analysis with a parameter. So we'll hit add parameter, we'll choose height, which is the parameter that we've put into ProE, and then we'll connect that to height sub pro, which is the variable that was in MathCAD. We'll also need to choose our outputs, so we'll choose the height output, again, from MathCAD, which you'll, as you'll see is one inch here. We'll hit OK. The next step is to compute and as you can see, we have a value of 10 inches, which shows that the parameter has actually gone through ProE, through ProE to MathCAD, back into ProE, and now it's computed correctly. We'll go ahead and create this feature, naming it MC1. As you can see here, it's shown up in our model tree. And then we'll close that analysis dialog box. Finally, we will need to add a relation so first what we need to do is we need to find which dimension we want to run through. And as you can see here, we're looking for the height dimension, so we'll choose D0. So we'll type in D0 equals the MathCAD variable, which would be MC underscore height, MathCAD variable height, which is located at the feature ID, FID underscore MC1, which is the name of the feature ID in our model tree. We'll hit the checkbox here to verify that everything has been updated correctly. Hit OK. We'll hit OK in our dialog box here. And then, as you can see, we're at the height is 51 inches approximately right now. So we'll regenerate. And we should see it change to a 10 inch dimension. And we'll verify that here. In fact, it has changed. Now just to double check that our integration is working appropriately, we'll go back into our parameters and we'll change that parameter to another value, let's say 20 inches. We'll hit OK to exit our dialog box. 
then we'll need to regenerate. Now here we'll need to regenerate twice because the first regenerate actually does the math for ProE and then the second regeneration uh, actually makes the physical changes within the graphical window. As you can see the cube has changed and it is in fact 20 inches. Well that's it for the ProE MathCAD integration and uh, again just a very quick example if you guys would like uh, some more information uh, feel free to hit